Hello loves, this is M. Rain, your Magical Mystic, founder of Magical Mystic, LLC, Divinity Academy, the Legacy Builders Academy, Dimensions Lounge, and Boston Entertainment, Lanico Media House, on and on and on, Moments of Mindfulness, the podcast launching soon, so I'm excited about that. Um, guys, those of you who know me, you know that I wear a lot of hats. I do a lot of things with my time. And I'm also a student again. I'm so proud of myself for that. Um, I've been able to stay committed through all of the other things that <laughs> you know how life be life and it's life for everybody, um, no matter what they say. And so today I have an encouraging message for you through a very discouraging topic, right? Um, for people who know me, you know that from the very moment that I stepped foot in independent spirituality, I have always been a proponent for a uh, community and working together. I was raised solo, even though I have a lot of siblings, got a lot of cousins, huge family, that whole thing. Love my family, but I'm not necessarily um, one of those people you will find in a crowd all the time. In fact, you rarely will find me in a crowd <laughs> um, outside of when I'm doing events, which I, I'm very grateful I get to do that also for a living. Um, but one of the things that happened once I started to build the spiritual community in my way uh, through Magical Mystic and Divinity Academy and through the apprenticeship and all of that that I do is that I discovered that every person is not necessarily compatible to walk certain certain parts of your walk or any of your walk with you. And one of the things that happened in life is that you end up around people who do or say things that's not pleasing, um, um, not complimentary, and sometimes all the way not true, <laughs> okay? Uh, for whatever reason, most of the time it's jealousy, and most of that jealousy is unfounded, but for other reasons as well, because most of the time you will find that jealousy a lot of times has a lot of judgment mixed up in it. Um, everybody knows people who, who are doing better than them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In life, they're not jealous of every person that's doing better than them. So there's a bit of judgment that comes along with this. So judgment is another thing people have in the audacity to stand in a place to say they know who deserves what. So anyway, when I'm, when I'm going forward, sometimes I have people who inbox me, especially when they start seeing my name in places in, in, um, <laughs> diminishing ways. I don't, I mean, you know, they disparaging my name, whatever. And there's somebody that they've seen me speak well of. A lot of times people get in my inbox. They're going to send me that stuff. They're going to talk to me about it. And so a lot of times they'll say, this is why I don't want to do X, Y, Z. This is why I don't fool with people. This is why I don't want to help anybody. And that is the most heartbreaking part of any kind of beefs you will ever see me in. It's not that, because I can handle it. It is what it is. It comes along with the territory. When I think about it, I've had beefs for free. You know what I'm saying? I've had beefs when I didn't have actual beef to eat. So so being in a beef while I'm successful don't mean shit to me. However, people who are watching, who when they first saw me thought, ah, oh, this ain't gonna last. I she ain't gonna last. And then they kept watching like, huh. And then they kept watching like, hmm. And then they kept hearing me say, you could do this too. You could do this too. This is also for you. Your, your dreams, your goals, they matter. You could do this too. And then they start thinking, maybe I could do this too. And then they start planning. And then they see this and they think, I don't want to do it because that's exactly why I don't want to do it. That's heartbreaking. I don't think most of us really count the cost of what we do. When I give you a, a great example. I was so mad one time at this one person because of what they did and and what they did it had nothing to do with me I saw them do this to someone else who I really care about and in the process of being mad I didn't want to know their part or understand their story it did not matter that was so uncalled for but one day years later the person who I care so much about and hated to see them done like that showed me why somebody could do them like that. This happened to me a few times, by the way, but I'm thinking of one particular situation. So, and, and I was stuck in between a place, right? Like, what should I do about this? And so Spirit starts showing me that it's not about, um, 
when it comes to being a public figure, it's not about lying and trying to pretend like nobody ever has problems. Those are the weakest leaders. They don't go very far because people can tell that they're superficial, they're shallow, and that what they're teaching is just a part. And so the ones who really are ready, they're just not going to gravitate to no fake person with a half a story. They're not going to do it. So the real story or the real truth of this life is that some people start off wanting it with you and then somewhere along the lines, your interests split. And where you were walking parallel, walking together, you start to venture away from each other. And unfortunately, sometimes you have to let that happen. But there are times when there's so much animosity because it's you and not them that they cannot do this without turning it into um, some kind of beef. And so we as black people, and I'm, I'm making this black first because I'm black and I'm a woman. And we as women, okay, um, we have a tendency to hold each other to impossible standards. You better not look wrong. You better not smell wrong. You better not think wrong. You better not breathe heavy. We don't even know where it come from, but it's the energy of those that once oppressed us as a race of people, as a sex of people, their energy, the ghost of their energy still speaks. We can't just not like it and just not agree with it without trying to destroy it because while any other race can do these same things to us and it ain't even worth talking about and I'm taking the high road and God going to fix it for me. If my own race do it to me, that got to be talked about and this got to stop. And these are some horrible people because there's still a level of within the collective consciousness of many black people and many women, a collective demonization of ourselves. And so you can look just like this and still not like others who look just like you. That's one thing that exists. And then when you come into independent spirituality, let's have a real conversation available at magicalmist.com, by the way, in case anybody want to wear this, because um, I love it. Um, but uh, you can get into mysticism and you find it's even worse. You say to somebody, um, I'm working with my spirit guides and my angels. And they're like, oh, that's great for the most part. And then you say, I'm working with my ancestors. They say, that's great. And you can go into another group where they say, angels ain't really what they say they are and blah, blah, blah. And some of you mislead it and some of you following it and they start peddling fear. And you got this group over here saying it's okay now. And you got this group over here saying it's not. Then don't, don't get into some other stuff. Oh, I work with Santa Morte now. Santa Morte is a demon. Santa Morte is a savior. Everybody got their stories and they don't allow for a person to just choose whatever story they choose that resonate with their soul. No, they want to gaslight you by saying, if you do this, you stupid. And if you do this, you this. And if you do this, and if you do this, and it'll confuse people. So every which way you turn and listen, Jews don't do it. Whites don't do it. Um, Iranians don't do it. Hispanics don't do it. It's just us. And we do it all day. The other day, um, well, yesterday, when Rich Homie Kwan, they first found out, rest in peace to his energy. Um, but when they said that he had died, people were saying, Rich Homie Kwan dead of an overdose and Boosie found him. It's not true, right? But that's what they did. Immediately, people started with conspiracy theories. Oh, Boosie probably finna go to prison for that. He probably poisoned with some fentanyl. This probably got something to do with Young Thug. Everybody talking, right? They don't care if it's true. They don't care if they can prove it. All they care about is talking. And I'm going to tell you what has happened in this in this toxic society. Because I can get down with the best of them. You know, people want to play with me. I can play and keep my sanity. Because I know exactly what it is and what I'm doing. You playing for views. I'm pulling energy and I'm going to grow from it. You know what I'm saying? We are not the same. Let's be honest, right? Um, but it's not because I like standing in opposition to my own kind. I don't want to be in opposition to any woman. I don't want to be in opposition to any black person. And for that matter, I don't want to be in opposition to anyone because spiritually we're all a part of the same thing, but that's what they do. And so we sell each other's dramas and traumas and pain and shortcomings to be liked. 
to heal our inner childhood wounds. We sell catastrophe and bullshit. We sell it. I ain't talking about always for money. I'm talking about the fact that we build blogs and podcasts and YouTube channels all about digging into celebrity lives, all about this and this and that, about whatever leaders it is. And we'll, we'll cover it under the guise of we need to protect the children. We need to protect the planet. We need to protect, you know, baby spiritualists. We need to protect somebody because we got to have a reason for the destructive nature that we have taken. One thing about me, if you see me on a tear, somebody has done a thing that I just I feel that that I feel. I ain't say you feel. I ain't ask you how you feel. I ain't say how she feel or she feel that I feel. Okay, deserves that tear. Okay, and so, but if you catch me in my everyday life, it's all about building. And in fact, I don't helped a lot of people become millionaires and people who um who have struggled with spirituality and religion. I have helped them find a semblance of peace. And so that's ultimately the goal. But if you think you're going to have that goal and nothing else, oh my God, you are so deluded. It doesn't work like that. And you can't let people and what they may say and what they may do and what they may agree with always be the thing to stop you. I mean, let's be honest. You don't agree with everything around you for that matter. You don't agree with everything your mom did. You, you don't agree with everything your children do. It's not stopping them from doing it. <laughs> okay? It's not stopping them from doing it. And it's a lot of things that they don't agree with that we do. For instance, you might have a, a, a habit biting your nails, right? And your mom might have told you about that a thousand times. But you still, you know, just biting your nails, biting your nails. Their opinion didn't stop you from that. So why let the opinion of strangers stop you from building your business? I know y'all was wondering where I was going with this. I got you. Why let the opinion and the actions and the doings and the ruminations and the suggestions and the downright lies and propaganda of people you don't really know who don't pay your bills, who don't fucking matter. Why let that stop you from building out your spiritual practice? Why let that stop you when... You are at home and you're hearing Oya, Anana, Isis, whoever, whoever, whoever. And you're seeing the signs and you're seeing the numbers and they're visiting you in dreams. And then you let somebody you ain't never met tell you, oh, don't do that. They're bad. Oh, this is terrible. Don't do it. Just don't do it. It don't work like this. See, to be happy, it takes a certain amount of autonomy. Happiness can't be based upon, and for that matter, success either. <laughs> okay. It can't be based upon whether somebody's going to give you permission to do it or not. That is something you have to choose for yourself in your, in your autonomy. That I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be a vibrant, dynamic piece of this universe. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. And I refuse to let those who try to stop that stop me from going forward. Don't let, when you see spiritualists into it, don't let that make you say, oh, spirit, spirituality is horrible. No, the fuck it's not. They did the same thing in church. I was there 18 years preaching, almost 20. Okay? They did the same thing. It was people in there that did this and did this and did this. And then don't say, this is why I ain't spiritual at all. I'm going to be an atheist. It's the same problem in science. It's scientists right now who mad as hell because they say somebody took their theory and took all the credit for all their hard work and blah, blah, blah. There will always be, and where there are fucking people, there will always be fucking bullshit. And you can't let that stop you from having a full, vibrant, beautiful-ass life. You just can't. Not if you really want it. I mean, you could, but do it really make sense for you to? Anytime you find yourself in places where people feel like they need to dominate your life, you're in the wrong place. You are the A1 star player of your life. You are the reason your world exists. I didn't say the world. I said your world your world is wrapped around you. And so 
letting somebody else's opinion sit front and center and you trying to wrap your whole life around their opinion doesn't work because it negates everything that's really you and really personal for you and really about why you are even here. We are not born on an accident. This is not happenstance. I don't care if under what circumstances you were conceived. If you made it here and if you're listening to this, there is a reason for it. And it's a beautiful reason, but you are not going to discover that reason as long as you're easily uh, shaken. And it's easy to move you off your mark. I tell people, man, ain't, I bitch ain't moving shit over here. Okay. Not a moving thing. <laughs> Okay, and it be things people want me to be mad about, baby. It's funny to me because you wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? You ain't hurt nobody but yourself. I laughed so hard the other day, y'all, and I'm just to get out of here. So somebody had hit me up with some screenshots and stuff, and I was like, man, I ain't got time for it. But then it's like my other side, you know how they say that angel and the devil sitting on your, your shoulders? So my other side said, well, technically, you was laying here resting. <laughs> You kind of do got time. Go look. So I go look and I'm scrolling. So I, I decided to go over there and look at that person's page myself. I said, let me just scroll through here. And I scroll and I was like, oh, that's about me. That's about me. That's about me. So it was one post, two posts, three posts, four posts, five posts, six posts. And I was just like, damn. And so when I got all the way back, I seen where she had been trying to sell some class. She abandoned that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just to talk about me. And I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? She don't even see what she did to herself. I ain't did nothing. I'm over here enjoying my life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't did nothing. I'm I'm not the reason why you got off your square. And you will not be the reason why I get off mine. That's the way you have to live if you're going to be powerful. Listen, some of you are born with secrets and powerful things inside of you. You have abilities that you have not yet developed. You have love in you that this world desperately needs you are intelligent like nobody else you find the missing links and all of this you need to be free to develop that don't look too hard and listen too hard at your doubters your naysayers and your haters and your ops and all that shit what they gotta say null and void it really don't much matter you know somebody brought up about um AIDS and cancer and they said it's probably people who could cure cancer no 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 they said it's probably people who could cure AIDS but they sitting in prison instead of in a laboratory right because they wasn't uh how, I don't want to misquote nobody said because they wasn't raised in a home where education was affordable they ended up doing street pharmacy that's what that's what she said and now they're in prison for it but had they been raised in a different uh way and put in a different environment they could be the one that would have cured aids and the person who could have cured cancer we don't know what might have happened to them or where they might have been born but the brilliance is in them they just not in the position to share the brilliance because they're in survival mode don't let that be you don't let anything stop you anybody stop you from being every fucking thing that you can be this has been my mini ted talks i am m motherfucking rain because without the m it'll just be some motherfucker okay and that ain't never good enough so i thank y'all for listening and be sure to check us out magicalmystic.com divinityacademy.com and i'll talk to you soon